Hey there, Drew here. Welcome back. I guess this is part two. Alright, so in the recent video I did was at the abandoned fish hatchery up by Moosehead or Moosehead Lake. It was done by the uh, the New Deal. They had a transient program to employ people, you know, got young guy or guys who were homeless and wandering around. So they had uh, work camps. And uh, this is one of the ones they worked on. This was already a fish hatchery here, but uh, they did major improvements like these kind of, uh, yeah, it's a dam structure. A bit more substantial than the, the one down at Kokajo. So, uh, this is the first one I found. So, I can see more up there. And uh, let's see, they have a drain plug that goes over there. You can see some more. So, let's keep looking. Okay, let's do the other one. Yeah, it doesn't have that pipe that goes over to the other. It's just a simple dam. Cool. And another one. There's right. another one. Some sort of frame. I'm not sure. I'm not going to go retrieve it. But here's the other one. And I think I see another up there. So cool. Can't wait to see what's over that way. Okay. Well, here's that little road. And it's still working, you know. This was done in the 30s. So, 1930s, yeah. So, it's still running. Oh, is that a, uh, some sort of pipe right there? Let's see if it's got a turn off valve. No idea. Something was here. But uh, let's see that uh, video I just did right over there. So. What do you think? Something up there. All right, I think I found the e facility trash pile there you go ketchup bottle there you go patent application one pint Federal law forbids reuse of this bottle. There you go, old bottles. Ba, 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 ba. Headlight. Yep, headlight is something. Listerine Lambert Pharmacy. There you go. Right. Get some old barrels. Bunch of cans. For dishes and fine fabrics. Yeah, so this was the facility trash pile right here. All right.
Yeah, more. Oh boy, they really. Clorox. That's, and yeah, you don't see that anymore. That's a very old bottle. Clorox. That's a fish hatchery. That was an old tea kettle. Well, if you want to know where it is, just send me a message. Lube. Moto. Paint can. He's gray. More Clorox. Clorox. Some sort of tub. Bucket. Oh wow. This is where they did it. Hey, back in those days, you didn't have any trash service. Not like you shitty schlickers. Okay, I'm back at where the um, water for the fish holding tanks comes in. So, um, oh, where I was was right over here. And I thought that's where the water source was, but. The river is over that way. So, and uh, like I said, these are the other ditches. So let's go check this area out. Okay, I was correct. So here's the pipe that goes to that, the uh, fish holding area over there. And um, according to the late at the Grant Gray Greenville Historical Society, and as you can see, there's the channel. Whoops. Get cut off there. Yeah, so uh, let's see, that goes to the ones that was uh, there, but uh, yeah, so they had two things a diversion holding tank right here, and then you could divert water here into the channel or over to those holding ponds. All right, okay, I'm continuing down this diversion channel. Big old tub. Left out here by its lonesome. Yeah. All right, this is going pretty long. So that's the channel with the concrete structures. Here's the first channel here. And then there's the second channel. Right. Here. And the river's right over there. So, uh, you know, by the way, this is uh, called the Lily Pond or Lily Bay Hatchery because it goes into Lily Bay of Moosehead Lake. Okay, there's my truck right over there. And where it goes into the stream that goes into the, the lake. All right. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to go back up to the beginning and see if I can't find those dam structures I saw in the photos, the old photos, which I can't show, unfortunately. All right. Okay, well, I found the dam site. So, found these structures here. Okay, so yeah, so there's the source right there of that little uh, channel. Yeah, so I just go, whee! Yeah, amazing. It's still working. All these years, the damn thing is still functioning somewhat. 
Man, after all these winters. All right, here it is. Okay. Oh yeah, these spring freshets, or spring floods there, they can take out stuff like this. But again, this, this hasn't been used for a while, so not surprising winter would, uh, or spring rains would take this out. That's it. Just dam that. Water comes in here. And even after all these years, models. Okay, this is Drew here at the Lily Bay Fish Hatchery. I'm going to contact uh, the lady at the Greenville Historical Society. Gave me the number, or she gave me a contact. He's a retired fish and wildlife official, retired. So I'm going to contact him and see what he says. All right. Thanks for coming along. This is Drew signing off.